Have you ever wondered what's considered proper cruise etiquette when you go on your cruise, especially your first one? Well, coming up this week, we're going to talk about my best cruise etiquette tips and things that I wish people had had told me when I first started. But before we get into all that, I must ask if you like this video, if you find it at all helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. All right, so let's get to it. So first up is probably one of the most annoying I've seen in the cruise community, and that's chair hogs. Chair hogs are people who head to the Lido deck around pretty much the crack of dawn and reserve chairs all day without ever using them. And they usually reserve blocks of chairs. I'm talking probably four, five, six chairs for one person. So my best advice is to not do that. Basically, the cruise lines and it depends on their regulations, have a certain set of time that you can leave your things on the lounge chairs unattended. So if it's past that time, they'll usually take your items to the towel station and you could pick them up there. However, some cruisers get a little bit, shall we say, possessive about what happens when they're not at the chairs but to be honest the cruise line does this so that everybody gets a chance to use the chairs and enjoy the sun so please be kind to your fellow passengers and don't be a chair hog next up is tipping well tipping is not necessarily mandatory crew generally appreciate tips and gratuities most cruise lines will allow you to either have them automatically added or will allow you to add them individually. Now, some people are asking why you have to tip. And the reason being is because some of these staff members are away from their families for months at a time and they send them back home so that their families have a chance at a better life. So please consider who you're donating the gratuities to. Next up is the mustard drill. Now, I wish I didn't have to say this, but unfortunately, unfortunately I do. It's to do it early. Now, most, cru most cruise lines have the, the option of doing the mustard drill available in the app, and they cannot leave the port until every single passenger has done it. So if you don't do your mustard drill right away, you're holding literally thousands and thousands of people up. Now, it takes five minutes to do it in the app. It's literally probably about seven minutes of videos. And then you go to the muster station. There's a little beep bop from the, from the staff member. And you're pretty much on your way. Next up is debarkation day. Now, you want to leave when your group is called so that the next set of passengers can get on board. And not only that, but the longer you stay on the ship, the longer you're delaying everybody else from getting on because after all the passengers leave from the previous week, the crew tends to do a terminal clean of the ship so they make sure that everything's vacuumed and and um uh, and clean and all that so you want to make sure that you get off because they won't let the next passengers on until they've had everything terminally cleaned next up is the port runners Make sure that you're back on board at the time stated several ways throughout your cruise. You'll find these in your daily schedules for activities. Crew members will be reminding you of this all day long. It'll be posted throughout the ship. The cruise director will make announcements. It's on your stateroom TV. Stay on ship time. They'll tell you exactly what time to be back on the ship and they'll always tell you to stay on ship time. Otherwise, the ship may leave without you and you may wind up on video. It's a hotly debated topic in the cruise industry and that's dinner. 
not just dinner, but meals in general. Dress appropriately. Not only will you be out of place, and, but you'll possibly be denied service. This includes bathing suits in the buffet or at, at the dining or lunch venues. Shoes must always be worn. This is definitely an OSHA regulation. It's for everybody's health and safety. And while you may not want to dress in a ball gown, but you'll need to be appropriately dressed, so I'll kind of leave that to your discretion. Most cruise lines have continued have discontinued formal nights and instead call them chic nights. So this just means that you generally dress a little bit more upscale than you normally would. And the codes are for each night are usually found in your daily schedule. You also want to be aware of your surroundings in both the buffet and just in general throughout the ship. You want to be polite and courteous. Don't push people out of the way. Don't hog the stations. Don't stand in the middle and daydream. Don't allow children to... Now, you also want to be kind to your fellow passengers and the staff members that are at those stations. Now, my dad on my last cruise was in line to get some pork. Now, we are we are currently Emerald getting ready to move up to Diamond members for Royal Caribbean. And my dad was in line to get the pork and the passenger in front of him was yelling and screaming at the staff member who was really just doing his job. So my dad after the passenger had left, went up to the crew member and said, I apologize for his behavior. Not all of us repeat cruise members are like that. I'll be happy with whatever steak you gave me or whatever steak you give me. Just keep in mind that there's plenty of food for everyone. And if you do end up going to the buffet again, Make sure that you take a clean plate with you. This is not so much for the convenience of the of the staff. A lot of people will take the dirty plates up to the buffet thinking that they're going to be saving the staff some time when they do their cleanup. This is a health and safety issue. It actually is promoting the spread of germs. So to help minimize that spread, you want to make sure that you take a new plate with you every time. And just in general, be polite to the workers that are on the ship because they're trying to make sure that you have the most awesome time on their on your trip. And they're often away from their families for months at a time. Now, you can go up to them and ask them about their countries, a lot of them will actually enjoy the opportunity to tell someone else about their home country or their family, and they just absolutely light up. Next is one that I wish I didn't have to say, but it's just follow the golden rule, treat others the way you want to be treated, and be kind to your cabin attendant. They're in a position where they can help you should you need something in your cabin and are often the first point of contact if you need anything in general. Even if they can't help you, they'll generally know who to go to or be able to point you in the right direction. They're always smiling and greeting you no matter what time of day or what they're doing. So just Try to keep your cabin as neat as you possibly can so that's easier for them to clean. Now, I know that being on vacation, it's inevitable that you're going to have clutter throughout the cabin and that's totally fine. Just try to make it as neat as possible and as safe for them as possible so that they can go in and do their jobs. Next, watch your language around kids. A lot of cruise lines are very kid-friendly. I think there's only one cruise line that I know that's for adults only. 
but you never know on some of these other lines who might be listening. So if you don't want your if you don't want your kids saying that or your grandkids saying something or behaving a certain way, model the behavior that you do want to see because you never know who could be listening. Also, be on time for your reservations. This includes dinner, shore excursions, shows, anything. Because what you're actually doing by not being on time is you're holding everybody up. So while they will wait for you, do you really want to be that person that everybody's mad at? I don't think so. Now, I also mentioned earlier you can take new plates up to the buffet, which is totally fine, but make sure that you take what you can take what you want, but make sure that you eat what you take. That way you're not being so wasteful. Also keep your voice down when you hear announcements over the loudspeaker, either by the captain or the cruise director. They might be announcing something that pertains to you or to the people that you're with. I can't tell you how many times I've missed things that are important to me because people were talking over the loudspeaker. Also, be kind to your neighbors and try to keep the noise down. This goes for the hallways too. You never know who has a baby that they just put down for a a two-hour nap. If you're screaming through the hallway, that baby could now wake up or... You know, someone might be sleeping or something along those lines. So you want to make sure that you are just at, you're just mindful of that. Also, don't yell at the guest services personnel. Yelling will not resolve your issues. They are in a position to help you and they're actually just as frustrated as you are that there's an issue. So they're trying to do their best to resolve it from personal experience Many of the people at the guest services go above and beyond to help you out. I've had times where they've actually sent things to my cabin for making them aware of a situation. Also, be patient on embarkation day. You might have to stand in line, so pack your patience in your carry-on and follow the directions that you're given. Most likely, the crew will make it seem like a suggestion that it's something you should follow. Translation is, this is not a suggestion, this is a direction. Also, don't talk in the theater, when, especially when you're watching a show, because you might ruin the experience for those around you. So that's my top tips for the best cruise vacation possible, not just for you, but for everyone. So if you like this video, if you find it at all helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And bon voyage! Those are my best tips to make the cruise experience more enjoyable for you, the crew, and most importantly, your fellow passengers. So if you like this video, if you find it at all helpful, please hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And as always, bon voyage!